everyone, we are here with Amy and she's from Animals Australia Unleashed and she's a youth campaigner and she's going to tell us all about what you guys are up to at the Expo. Okay, so we're here, we're um, Australia's leading animal rights group for young people. Right. So we've got campaigns to help all animals. So at the moment we've got campaigns over to um, help out some chickens, free them from cages just by making uh, choices uh, with the products that you buy. I am a cage-free egg purchaser. That and is I just correct. tell you. That is and I also yeah. make the uh, very. I try and choose the one that also gives to the charity as well at the same oh, time. Yes. Yeah? So that's awesome. I'm doing breast cancer awareness, cage-free, organic. Wow. Covering all your. I'm bases. like an egg, you know, expert chick, right? Okay, oh. good. So I'm on your team. Well, I'm on the complete opposite. I don't eat eggs. I don't like <laughs> eggs. I don't like the taste of eggs. I don't even like the smell of eggs. So I'm not even buying the product. And so I'm on the complete opposite. But what I am buying for my children and to put in the cake, I am going cage. That's cage. You know, cage free. Cage free, that's it. Cage free. Yeah. Yeah. So and tell us about your campaigns, what's going on, tell us what, what the focus is here. Uh, well, we just launched a campaign today which is called the Kind Canteen Campaign. So that uh, gives students uh, two missions. Um, they can choose one or the other. The first is to get your canteen to go cage free, stop using cage eggs. Yep. And the second is to get a veggie burger on the menu. Nice. Um, to have a meat free option um, for students at yep. the school. So, yeah, that's, um, that's one of the campaigns we've got for young people at the moment. Um, but yeah, we've got campaigns on everything from puppy farming to live export, animal testing, you know, whatever animal you like. Yeah. Well, I've actually, um, in, a, in a past life, I manufactured products made of aromatherapy and we were approved by Children's Country Free. Oh, so yeah. it was a really important thing and it, we worked really hard to get that on board. Yeah, yeah. So, is that an organisation that you work with? Or? Yeah, definitely. We have a really close relationship with Children's Country Free yeah. and um, yeah, we'll always you know, recommend them if you're, if you're buying products, um, beauty products or yeah. cleaning products. Um, look for the Children's Country Free logo because yeah. Yeah, they're, they're um, 100%. Yeah, I know. It was a really strict criteria on how you actually got to be a part of that. Yep. So if I'm a young person and I'm starting to think about like things that happen with animals and you know what's going on and yep. the things that I don't like, what um, what can I start to do? What, how can I get involved with you guys? What do I start to look for? How do I even know that these things are even happening? Like, you know, people wouldn't even know. Yeah, for sure, definitely. Well, we have an online uh, resource, unleash.org.au. Um, so, yeah, everything there well, for all of our campaigns, we've got some great information uh, specifically for young people to get involved in. Um, the best thing about helping animals is that you don't have to, you know, donate money or anything. It's just by the choices that you make, you can make a difference for animals. So another campaign that we have is by opting to not do dissection at school on animals because, again, that's, that's animals' lives um, that are being used and, um, yeah, again, just making, making kind choices products that they buy maybe or yeah people at uh, your canteen at school or um, spreading the word and, and making making choices that benefit the lives of animals. And what have you found today? Have you found that the young people are really you know interested in your message and are they passionate about these kinds of causes? Yeah what have definitely. You found? Young what people love animals and they're yes. really really receptive to the cause. Um, they love hearing about it. Um, yeah it's been it's been really great. So you found that their opinions are sort of, you know, they're very interested in voicing their opinion about this sort of thing and they'll get fired up about sort of taking the information back to their schools and seeing if they can yeah, change the menu, etc. Yeah, definitely. We've had a lot of interest in the Kind Canteen campaign. Um, a lot of people, yeah, asking what they can do to, to help animals. I love that. That's why we do this thing. Is that yeah, I mean, right. who would have thought, you know, after exactly. all of these years of doing the expo that we would have well, that when kind of when I was message. a teenager, I... You know, didn't, I didn't have any access to an employer. Yeah. I mean, I'm sure it existed, but I didn't. I wasn't aware of yes. an organisation like Animals yes. Australia. And, and if I had it then, I did, like I would have lapped it up. I would have loved it. So Absolutely. yeah, it's really great to be able to communicate to young people about this cause and, and get them interested in it and involved. They're so smart. They're just so brilliant and oh, smart. Smartest, and, and smartest people in the world. Yeah, teenagers. Exactly. <laughs> and that's exactly why we do this thing is because yep. we've got these amazing young people and we give them opportunities like you know finding out about your organisation. So we're we're sitting here with our little. I've got my little puppy ears on, and so she's got her little pig, pig ears. Pig ears. Which is a, a dream come true for me. Really. We, we would not Even have thought. Even though I know you do say that they are entitled to animals and all of that sort of stuff, so I am coming to terms with my own inner self yeah. that this is okay. Pigs are in fact smarter than dogs. Really? Not that I'm pitting anyone against each other, no, but no, that's a fact. No, no. So you get a pig instead of a dog, is that yeah. right? You know, whatever. 
Yeah. George Clooney had a pig. I really? thought that was pretty cool. Well, yeah. George Clooney had a pig. Bring it on the pig. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Well, we're so happy that you're here today and we're really happy that we could be a part of spreading the message about your organisation and uh, we are on board. Yeah, great. It's in great every to be way. a part of it. Thanks so thank you. Us. Thank you, Amy. Thank you so much. <laughs> Good job. Good well job. done. You must